What if you bought a timeshare but could never use it? Well, a new lawsuit claims a Gatlinburg resort is selling dream vacations in the Smokies. But when you go to book that vacation, there are never any rooms available. Consumer investigator Jennifer Krause found that's not the only surprise some consumers are getting. That's right, Lori. We've all heard of those high pressure timeshare sales, but what's alleged in this lawsuit takes it all to a whole new level. And according to the suit, it's happening right in the heart of where so many people love to vacation, Gatlinburg and the Smokies. The Westgate Smoky Mountain Resort and Spa's website promises you can rest and relax right in the heart of the Smokies. Close to the popular tourist destinations of Gatlinburg and Pigeon Forge, it even has a water park. But a new lawsuit alleges that those who buy timeshares here at the Westgate Resort never get to experience any of this. It's part of a very complicated, uh, high-pressure scheme, as we've alleged, uh, to take money but to deliver essentially nothing. Mark Chalos is one of the lawyers now suing the companies that own and run the Westgate. The 65-page suit claims Westgate salespeople are encouraged to lie to customers in high-pressure sales pitches. But customers, the lawsuit says, are never given a key piece of information. They're uh, never told that, in fact, they're, they're probably not going to ever be able to use the property. Chalos says the problem is Westgate's business model is to sell these condos, not just once, but over and over and over again. So one unit, they may sell hundreds of times. And when people call to say, I'd like to use a, a week, uh, they're not available. The class action lawsuit right now names six clients, including a woman from Murfreesboro who paid $18,000 for her timeshare, and another woman from Goodlettsville who spent 30000 And both say they were never able to book a vacation. And then there is what they call the secret pocket. According to the lawsuit, when consumers buy a timeshare at Westgate, the company makes it very difficult for consumers to find the legal documents that spell out their rights, including their right to cancel the transaction. It appears to be uh, a, a standard practice there that they use these leather binders that have these secret compartments or secret pockets, and they appear to be used with some frequency. You call it a secret pocket. You think these pockets are designed to hide documents from consumers? Yes. The lawyers believe that what they're alleging affects a, quote, substantial number of families. They say certainly hundreds, likely thousands, and possibly a whole lot more. As they maintain, these sorts of business practices have been going on at Westgate for at least the last decade.